<laughs> Here's how to make a one-way non-return valve for a Gardena fitting. Yeah, water rocket with the Gardena fitting. Here's the trouble with Gardena fittings. The water gushes out, as you can see. All right, now to fix that, you take that fitting off. It needs a one-way valve to be installed inside there. The simplest way and cheapest way to do it is to get a piece of uh, inner tube rubber. Although, in a bind, you can use the styrofoam from an egg carton, which also works, but it's not as durable. So, you uh, determine the fitting, the size of the diameter of the, of the rubber gasket you're going to put in there. I like to use a socket set. Try different sizes till you find the one that fits, like that. Okay, when you've got that, place it on your rubber. Take a pen, scribe it so you have, you can see what the outline is. Cut it out until you have a disc made of rubber or styrofoam from the egg cart. Here's the key. You then take your X-Acto knife and you cut a slot right into it, a quarter inch slot. So you're going to have your rubber disc okay, and a quarter inch slot there. Do not cut the outer edge because that's what's going to seal up and uh, keep your pressure. If you can see that, the air pressure will go through the slot there and the water won't. So then you just take that and you put it inside like so. You're going to have to have a fitting. More about the fittings later. You screw that on. Okay. There you go, like that. Now when you fasten it, alright, turn it over. No water comes out. Okay. And it does hold pressure. We'll take that. friction fitting onto that and I hope it holds. Give it some pump it some pressure. There you go. Holds pressure and the water does not leak out. Now when you fire it off, here we go, we're gonna get the shower bath here. There's your launch. Okay? Now, Gardena fittings are not all the same. Some of them, such as this nice Gilmore one, uh, it's real nice, it has nice fitting, nice feel to it, it snaps on nice and I like it. However, it has a problem. Back here, where you want to put the one-way valve, it has this little tube that protrudes out like that. So you have to cut that off. Take your X-Acto knife and put it inside that little tube, cut it from the inside so that you do not nick up the uh, outside diameter of the fitting. You take that out, then you can take your uh, your styrofoam or your rubber disc and place it inside the adapter. The rubber one is a whole lot better. There's another rubber one. Okay, well, we'll use this one. Put that in there, fasten it, and you have a one-way valve for the, the Gilmore brand. Have fun!